He says he's not talking about it anymore, which means, Diana, the last interview he ever gives on this sub subject was with you Sunday because you had the game. You asked him a bunch of questions. He said some very interesting things to you. For those who haven't heard, recap that for us. Yeah, let's just start with uh, our colleagues Adam Schefter and Chris Martinson reporting that bombshell, which was the offer that Baltimore made to Lamar Jackson on Sunday morning, which was a $133 million guaranteed at signing deal. The offer was about 250 give or take a little bit here and there over the five, six years. And Lamar Jackson obviously turned that down. We were all aware of that. So after the game, after a nice victory against the New York Jets where he played real well, I just asked him about the situation. And he said, yeah, I did turn that down. Now, he did add that there was some more guarantees in there that weren't even reported. And he even turns that down. Um, I did ask him. Look, I knew Baltimore never offered that $250 million guarantee money that we see the Cleveland Browns had offered to Sean Watson. I did ask, though if he turned that down, even though Baltimore didn't offer it. And he said, no, but kind of gave me the look, Mike, like if they did, I would have signed that thing. Um, that being said, he was really transparent. And he's like, look, I'm just waiting for the right offer. And when I asked him if he was going to play the rest of the season without a contract in place, without an extension for next year, is he willing to do that? He told me, we'll just have to see. We'll see about that, which... You know, may sound very basic, but that was big to me because we just all assume if he played week one, he's playing all year long without a deal. But we're just going to have to see now, Mike. What does we're just going to have to see, Bart, mean when you've got the season underway? Yeah. We wondered like crazy, would he play without the extension? I, I'm yeah. with Diana. I, I assumed if he played week one, that meant he's going to play. What does we're going to have to see mean? If they agree to my terms, then we can, I'll sign on the dotted line. See, here's the little thing that people don't realize. No, we're going to have to see if he's going to play the whole season without the contract. I, I don't think Lamar, he, his pedigree, he's too, too much of a competitor. He loves that organization. He's still getting his money. I think he probably went to Lord of London's, pulled out an insurance policy on himself. Right. But this is the thing, right? We, we talk about today. We're going to celebrate today the first uh, day of, uh, you know, Amazon taking on games. And what people don't realize, that's $11 billion over 11 years. What is that going to do to the salary cap next year, right? It's going to raise it up. So Lamar's playing the long game. He understands that, listen, yesterday's price is not today's price. So it's going up. So he understands Lamar Jackson's made more money by not signing a contract mm -hmm. than any other uh, player. And you talk about, okay, 290000 And this is what teams do, right? They throw out the totals to try and embarrass players so we can look greedy. But $290 million, you talk about a seven-year extension, that's $41 million a year. That's under market. So Lamar Jackson is making sure that he's doing what Russell Wilson didn't do. He's making sure that the guy after him gets paid more money. See, see, so that's what they, this was going on. And Lamar Jackson, to me, I think is playing it you know, beautifully, right? Get your money. Because guess what? Next year, if they, if they franchise tag me, it's going to go up. Burrow and Herbert's going to get paid. And it's going to continue to go up. And the salary cap is going to be influenced by Amazon. So does that suggest that everything is or isn't just fine between Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens? Not just for this year, but you were just talking about whether or not the Dolphins might trade for him next year. Is everything going to be just fine on into the future for Lamar and the Ravens. I think Lamar is just like, listen, I'm just want to concentrate on football because the, the better I do on the field, mm -hmm. my price is going to keep going up. And like when I think about the Baltimore Ravens, think about it. Their whole team is built around Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Everything they do is built around one guy. And just the thought of Lamar Jackson walking out of the door out of Baltimore – like, that would be just devastating for that organization. I'm, I'm still in shock that a deal didn't get done this offseason considering, the, you know, the importance of Lamar Jackson. To, to be team. clear, he can't walk out the door because they yeah. can franchise right. I mean, all yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. But they could, in theory, yeah. they could wind up trading to some team that has two first-round picks, whatever the he'll case. Be worth, that's what be, you were talking about. He'll be worth five first-round picks. Oh, that's what I mean. I, it's, it's incalculable. You can't come up with what his price would be in a trade. It's incalculable. I think right now... Mentally, he's in a great state. I think he's focused on football. He's confident. He's out there playing ball at a high level. Yeah. I think what would be hard for him to digest is say he goes out there, plays amazing. But these teams have control over the player with, you know, all doing the franchise tag next year. They're now trading. So if they start playing with you, if he goes out there and balls out and, and deserves to get paid like the, the top five quarterback, yeah. they should do it. 
or because if I was him, I'd be getting mad after this. I'd be mad at after this season if he doesn't okay. get paid. I'd be I, frustrated and mad. I've been in this organ in that organization for seven years. They're not going to set a president because if they set a president, and forget what Cleveland did. If they do it, then that means Cleveland has to do it, and that means that the Chargers have to do it. So they they don't want to set a president. Then you have the player that's trying to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do for the next people. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.